Hi guys, welcome back to my channel for week two of the Magical Christmas Collab, hosted by the Pink Zebra, the Magical Unicorn. All right, so I'm working on a packaging for my Memory Dex card because it has to get out in the mail really quick. So I'm sending this one out and I made a box. I used uh, two 12 by 12 white cardstock and then I used some of the papers that I hauled from um, Louisa. KSP by Louisa or now it's my crafty boutique Louisa. Um, anyway, I just used my 12 by 12 paper to make a little pizza box style. Now I do not have a pizza box so I had to come up with my own box and maybe I can share with you a tutorial <laughs> if we could get some thumbs up going. <laughs> Say a hundred thumbs up. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yeah, this took a while and it's two 12 by 12 pieces of cardstock. And this is one and this is one. And the way I did it, I basically built the box around this card just to make sure that it can fit and that nothing is going to um, get smashed. And what I will do is put some crinkle papers in around the edges here so that these tips and edges don't get bent or shuffled around. So that's what I made the pizza box for. And um, I did use my gold leaf pen or my paint marker. And this paper was cut smaller than the actual size of box, right? So this is a cutout, maybe a quarter inch all the way around or an eighth of an inch around. And so I put paper on the outside cover only. And then if you see the bottom of the box, the only thing I put paper on was this part right here, the inside. So there's no paper here in the front or in the side or on the bottom, which I'm thinking I might have to put some on the bottom just to shore up the box. But it is sturdy. Now it might get bumped and all that, but it's okay. I'm okay with that. But as long as the memory decks fits in there nicely, I am I am good with that. And so let me turn this the way it's supposed to go. The flaps go on the outside and that way the box looks complete all the way around. Or finished, not complete, but finished. And I see an edge that needs a little bit of love just ever so carefully. Here we go. There we go. So I didn't put anything on that white part right there. And there it is. Um, hmm. Actually, not done yet. <laughs> I put some foam on the back of this little cut apart right here and I will go around the edge of this. Let me do that. Let me do that with a pen. Put it open. And just edge this. And I go all the way around. Oops. Just like that. There we go. And I used some of that kids foam. Make sure it's top. And I want to just tilt it. Okay. And I want it to don't want it squared out. It's just squared out. Okay. Over. Press it down. It is attached. There. It's not centered, but that's okay. Um, the other thing was, I'm going to attach some pom-poms. 
hole all the way around, but that will cover up my hole. Let's see. Make sure I just put it on the bottom. <laughs> or just around the edge. Oh, that would be cute too. Around the box. That would be cute. Yeah, like that. Maybe. Okay, I think I'll do that. A little at a time. Oh my god, on hot, so I gotta be careful. There we go. There we go. Sorry for the noise. My son's in the other room. And he's going crazy. Myself, but I'm also trying to make it straight. <laughs> okay, I think it just have enough. Just enough. up some of my crinkle paper, some pink and white, and I'm just going to put it all around underneath here. It actually keeps it steady. Keeps it from jumbling around. There we go. I love it. With my handmade. <laughs> oh, I love it. Super cute. Now I have to make another one. <laughs> All right. Let me. Just a little bit. Really only need a touch of that. Very cute. Okay. And hmm. I have to stick a card in here. But that's what this box looks like. Isn't that cute? I want to put together um actually let me just pop on some Snowflakes right on top. There, right there. Oh. There are. Trying to find the right one. <laughs> Just the dab. I never put these dang things right where I want them. <laughs> My craft room is a disaster right now. <laughs> it is chaos. No, stay. There we go. Look at that. Isn't it cute? Cute. I want to put one of these. I need one of these. Yeah. How about that? Put that on my mug. Oh, it's so cute. Put those, eight of those together. Mm. Let's see. Open this up. So I need these. 
and I want to put these in here also because I was going to use it on my memory decks card, but that did not happen. Mm. Let me think. Yeah, I think I would just throw these in because they're cute. Just pop them right in there. And I'll make these babies right here. Okay, so I use my bow punch. I do not have a Cricut or a die cutting machine, so I rely on like hand drawn stuff or my punch collection that I have hauled from Buddy Stash. And so that is what I use. That's why I was making goodies for our friends. <clears throat> so now, I'll have to there. And then I just take my glue and pop them on there while it's still hot. Okay, just take these extra glue off. <clears throat> and then put the center, this little piece right here, and grab it, press it on again. And then I'll just put the dab of glue behind it. together. And there's one bow. One pretty pretty bow. That's cute. That's bow number two. So that's four bows actually. You're gonna think about it. One, two, three, four. Isn't that cute? That's what we've got. Alrighty, there you go. And I will sign these box or this box, but I still need to make one more. I think it's super cute. I hope my friend likes it. And let's see. Give you guys a little bit of close up. Can you see all that? Isn't that pretty? And I just made the box. So please give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you all on the next one. So don't forget to come back next Friday for week three of the Magical Christmas Collab. And don't forget to check out the other ladies down below in the description box.